Hey everybody! All right, we're back with uh, part three of, of this this little this little mini series here. Uh, okay, right now uh, we're gonna I'm gonna start off in, on on rehashing. I know I did that video of uh, AM uh, displayed on the oscilloscope, so I'm gonna rehash here uh, and show you standard standard uh, uh, CB modulation and go back over what 100% modulation is and what the uh, pinch neck carrier is. All right, so I'm going through a D104 microphone and my trusty Galaxy DX2547. All right, right now I'm keying about a watt and a half, about a watt and a half. So remember that four to one ratio I keep talking about. Any carrier times four, you carry your power, modulate up the your peak envelope power to quadruple that. That's 100% modulation. So I'm keying about a watt and a half, right about that ballpark. I'm gonna modulate this up about. It's gonna hit about six watts. You're gonna see. There's a bright line uh, up here on here. We're going to stop right before we see that bright line because this, remember this bright line is off. Right now we are off, all right? So you're going to see that watt meter go up around 6 watts. As soon as we hit about that 6 watts, we're at 100% modulation. So you're going to go ahead and put that tone into there. There we go, 100% modulation. Any more than that, we start pinching the carrier. Right around, that's 100% modulation. Bring that down. Again, up top, our positive peaks are up here. And then it narrows down, our negative peaks are down there. 100% modulation right there. All right, now, as we go over that, uh, two things will happen uh, on standard CB. Sure, you will start to sound louder, uh, but... Again, at the expense of pinching that carrier. That pinching that carrier, when we here, I'm gonna crank this up a little bit here. Of course, now I'm I'm attempting I'm attempting to go over 100% modulation. Uh, the further and further we go above that 100% modulation, the further we break away from that four to one ratio, the more time we are turning our carrier off. All right, when we turn this carrier off, what do you? When that when that flat line's right there, when you turn our carrier off. That's creating additional sidebands, and uh, hopefully you know that all the information is contained in the sidebands. So, you're, when the, when you're creating these additional sidebands, that's what causes your adjacent channel splatter and bleed over all over the band, up into the ham bands. And uh, you know, I, I don't blame those guys uh, for getting pissed off. I mean, they're right. Uh, I don't know how many times I've been talking to somebody uh, on the air, uh, trying to have a good conversation, uh, and somebody's uh, five channels away, uh, bleeding over so strong, I can't hear the guy who I'm talking to on the channel. So, once again, symmetrical modulation, you cannot get more than 100% modulation uh, it, it's impossible no matter what you try to do you're gonna pinch that carrier right there and the more and more you pinch that carrier uh, yeah to a certain point you're gonna start to sound louder and louder but uh, when, it, when you take start taking it too far uh, you'll stop sounding louder and you'll just become more and more distorted all right so again the pinching that carrier the, the main thing is uh, the additional uh, interference and in, in, in bleed over uh, also, or neighbors electronics and all, and all that. So it, it's just a bad thing. Remember, that's off. All right. What I'm gonna do here, also, you know, the, some guys, like I said, I'm keying a watt and a half. And to show you, if you're keying a watt and a half and you're swinging up 20 watts, here's what your signal looks like. Are you? Remember, that's off. Look at the time. Our carrier is actually off more than it is on, but yet that watt meter will continue to climb, so that's really misleading. What do you see? That's off. Oh, look all the time that carrier is off now. That's a watt and a half swing up to 20 watts. What do you and also we're cropping off up here too. This is just getting chopped off here, chopped off off top. This is just a very nasty looking signal uh, at this point. Uh, I'm probably sound like a buzz saw uh, right now. I am transmitting into a dummy lid right now, but uh, that's what uh, your signal looks like if you're if you're uh, keying one watt swing into 20. All right, so that that's bad. Anytime you see this line on here, uh, that, that's really bad. Distortion, a bleed over, uh, and splatter all over the band right there. So anything over 100% modulation, it, it, really true. If you're uh, now, you're gonna see uh, distortion long. Uh, long before you hear it. I mean, the oscilloscope is very, very sensitive. So uh, even uh, guys who uh, maybe even uh, 
break the rules a little bit, even if you're doing about like 10 watts or so, uh, keying about, uh, you know, a watt and a half, swing up to 10. Uh, right there, actually, it might not sound bad at all. It might sound nice and crisp. But again, the main thing is the bad thing. You're pinching that carrier and causing all that interference. That, that's the main thing about that. Uh, just just the way it is. Symmetrical modulation, you cannot get more than 100% modulation. All right. Also, I'm going to crank that back up to 1 watt swing at 20. Now remember this, I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over to uh, my modulator setup and we're going to in introduce asymmetrical modulation. All right. So remember what this looks like. Watt and a half can. We're going to swing up to 20. Remember what this looks like. Oh, all chopped off. Our carrier is turned off almost as much as it is on. Oh, we're uh, squared off at the top. Very nasty, chopped up looking signal. All right. So remember that. Now I'm going to switch over to uh, my, my YB and Hi Fi setup. And we're going to show you a little bit uh, what uh, the uh, asymmetry does and how, how I'm going to go about um, setting the carrier in, in that 4 to 1 ratio. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, switch on here. So I got to go, go over there and unscrew some coax. But just bear with me for one minute. All right, now I'm back. All right, now I'm connected into uh, my modulator setup uh, uh, with, with, with the wide band audio. Okay, we're gonna drop back down. We're gonna try to get the uh, the same carrier set point as what I did with the uh, with the Galaxy. I'm gonna turn the audio all the way down. We're gonna key up, hopefully about a watt and a half. That's about the same right there. Okay, now we're gonna, uh, for our crystal clean, nice audio, for now, for the moment, we're going to stay in symmetrical, or standard CB, all right? So we're going to bring up my audio. I'm going to talk into my microphone, just how I would normally talk. Bring it up to where it's, where, where it's dancing around six walks, or we're using an oscilloscope. We're going to start talking until we not quite pinch that carrier. We don't want to see that that uh, solid solid line in there. I'm actually going to key up and set my, uh, my negative pigs here. What do you one two three four one two three four? What do you one two three four? Audio two two one two three one two. What do you right there? I'm gonna back it down just a pinch. We're gonna be under a hundred percent. One two three four. Audio two two one two three four. All right. Well, I'm actually under. Uh, it depends on my voice excursions. But right there, we're gonna park that right around. Uh, 100%, even maybe a little bit less there. All right, now we're gonna do it now. Like I said, symmetrical, we can't go beyond 100%, but here's where asymmetry comes in. There's a really neat thing about this. Um, this is not negative peak compression, um, uh, this is a positive peak expansion. All right, so we're gonna expand these pocket positive peaks. We're gonna park, like I said, set the carrier, and then we're gonna bring up the audio, and we're gonna park our audio control right at 100%, and I'm gonna hit the asymmetry control, and we're gonna grow our positive peaks. All right, here we go. I'm gonna bring up the asymmetry. What do you two, one, two. All right, now I'm gonna bring this, remember that uh, one watt carrier, uh, uh, one watt carrier, uh, and swing up to 20 on the Galaxy. Now here's the same thing. One watt carrier. We're still not pinching that carrier. And we're doing well, about the same amount, even more. Up to 30 watts, and we're still not pinching that carrier. We're allowing those positive peaks to grow. Now, I would never run it this way. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes because um, I'm well up, as you can see, right around this point here. That's 100% modulation. That's 200%. That would be 300%. Just doing this for demonstration purposes. A lot of radios out there, standard CB radios, uh, can't demodulate that much. It would, most receivers out there respond to that as distortion. This is just for demonstration purposes. Remember how how chopped and tiny our audio was on on the uh, standard CB. Now look how fat and wide uh, the audio is in here. 
What do you two, one, two, three, four, and right now we're not even pinching that carrier. We're going well and beyond the uh, standard CB. What do you one, two, three, four? One, two. Ooh. So there we go. Again, uh, remember to compare the two. Right now I'm pinching that carrier just a pinch, uh, just a little bit there. I brought my asymmetry down a little bit. But um, you actually can see uh, the, 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 the raspiness in my voice right now. Um, when, I bit, when I go ooh, nice and smooth, and uh, my voice, it's raspy. You can actually see the raspiness in my voice. That's how uh, crystal clean uh, my, my, the modulator is passing my audio through there. So, again, I, I hope you got a little bit of all this, um, the, what the bore can do. Uh, this is asymmetry right now. Again, I'm going to bring the, uh, uh, the positive peaks down. One, two, three, four. Ooh, we're going to grow the positive peaks. Ooh, one, two, three, four. Again, this is going overboard. What do you one, two, three, four? No pinching of that carrier. And look at all that positive peak growth right there. Audio two two two. Or shoot, I'm shooting way above. Like I said, I'm abusing this for uh, uh, demonstration purposes. But uh, again, the main thing is uh, no pinching that carrier right there. Going well beyond 100% modulation. Uh, that's uh, major audio density. That's the, that's the main thing about this. Sets this apart from. Um, Direct audio inject. Direct audio inject. You're still limited to uh, the well, the hundred percent modulation. Uh, direct audio inject. Uh, you can still get. You'll start to get some natural asymmetry to your voice. You might get a little bit of a positive peak in there, um, but uh, the modulator with the, uh, the 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 asymmetry, as you can see, it, that's what sets it apart from from direct audio inject. It's pretty neat. It's really really neat stuff. And right here, that's a tremendous audio punch right there. Um, yeah, growing those positive peaks. So, anyhow, I hope we uh, learned a little bit from this. hope I demonstrated this uh, somewhat well. Um, like I said, this is just a quick quick overview of uh, what really goes on in there um, and what I do uh, to, to do my hi-fi audio. Um, maybe I'll do another video out there, or soon, that um, we will go through my rack gear and show how uh, we can uh, create our audio. But, uh, once again, thanks for bearing with me through these videos. Um, I'm not the best at making these. I'm sure I'll go back through and uh, you know, see a lot of stuff. Oh, darn, I didn't mention that. I forgot to mention this, or I could have explained that better. But, anyhow, once again, these three videos were just uh, a brief demonstration, a uh, brief, brief overview of what I do um, to, to do my hi-fi. Okay, well, once again, like I said, for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm, I'm heavily, <laughs> heavily abusing this right now. But uh, there you got to see the differences between... Uh, uh, is your standard CB audio narrow bandwidth all the way up through uh, uh, wide audio bandwidths with um, asymmetrical modulation? I right, can get on out of here and uh, get these videos posted up. Take care, everybody, until we do it again. KP68, I am free and clear.